all right, I'm gonna hurry up with you before I forget it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do um, is the lick, all right? All right, so I'm barring the fifth fret of the D, G, and B strings, all right? I'm barring it with that fit with my first finger. Then I'm gonna take my middle finger and kind of hammer on and then pull off. So I'll hammer on to the uh, sixth fret of the B string and then pull off. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and play the seventh fret of the G string. And then you just play that. Your fingers, your first finger will already be there, but you're gonna play the D string. So you're in the fifth for the D, fifth fret of the D string. All right, so real slow. Over here, I'm just going. So I'm only hitting it, the B string one time, and then I'm hitting the G string, and then the D string. All right, so. So, ah, sorry. All right. So think of like, um, think of like a um, like a D minor seven chord shape, or a D a D minor shape. But th but you're gonna, you're not playing the D. Okay. So you got. All right. So what it looks like is I have my ring finger on the fifth, the seventh fret of the D string my pinky on the seventh fret of the G string, and then my middle finger is on the sixth fret of the B string, and then this finger is just kind of like hanging out. Because um, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna need to bar the D, G, and B string, because when you do that, you're gonna need that, that finger to be there, all right? So, again, very slowly, and I'm just going. Um, all right, so that's that first chord again. And then really quick. All right, um, just the D, G, and B strings on the fifth fret. You're just going to kind of bounce on it. All right, so I'm going to show you how that goes together. And then stay there. Okay, you're hitting the again the D G and B strings of the fifth fret. Put your middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string. Okay, and you're just playing the B string, the G string, and the D string. All right. So again, you have. All right. Then you have again the same chord. gonna you're gonna um, go to you're gonna hit that B string twice so you got sorry okay there it is so you got okay so I'm going I'm just gonna yell the strings out D G B. I'm lifting my middle finger up, put the middle finger back down, hit that B string again, then to the G string, and then back to the B string. I'm sorry. Keep the uh, middle finger up. So. There you go. That, this, this part is difficult, like the timing and everything is weird, so just listen to it and you'll kind of get it. Then I'm going. All right, just kind of, you're already here. Just kind of put your pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. Okay. Um, don't overthink it, just kind of. Um, then. 
right so I have my ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string my first finger on the on the third fret of the D string and I'm just kind of I'm hitting it hitting the D string and then lifting lifting it up and I'm there on that finger so I'm going okay right below um, that note is going to be on the fifth fret of the G string so you got and then at one point I think I heard him heard him hit the A string I believe okay so that's the whole song hallelujah it's over it's been a long two days all right <laughs> so put it together really slow Oh, wait, forgot the lip. Sayonara, I'm done with this tutorial. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope that DeAndre... I really hope that you learned this song. And when you learn this song, you better post a video of you playing it. Because it took me five videos to do this lesson. I'm going to try and um, put it all together for you guys. So, God bless you and good luck.